Back. Let's take you back to the boys' basketball court with the Holyoke Purple Knights taking on Putnam earlier on in the week. Holyoke Purple Knights come to Springfield to take on Putnam Vocational Tech Beavers. We're going to go to Holyoke shooter Sean Rivera. Flips it out to Davion Diaz. Pulls the trigger from beyond the arc. Kaboom! Holyoke going to bring it up the court. Julian Chapman with the grand theft for Putnam. Gets the interception and the uncontested two. Rivera looks trapped, somehow finds a lane to the basket. Strong drive, even stronger finish. How do you get that one to go? We have no clue. Aiden Cabrera drives to the hoop, sees an open teammate, waves off the corner three, finds Rivera at the top of the key. Bang! Another three for Holyoke. Cabrera controlling up top, finds Rivera again in the corner. Drops another one in. Putnam's Andrew Mabry drives in. Three guys around him, so he gets it to Brian James for the easy two. Cabrera making some moves around the defense, skips through that lane for the deuce. Final score, Holio gets the big win away from home. They're going to take it 76 to 64 over Putnam. We got the SIC Bulldogs matching up with the Chickapee High Pacers. Both teams making it rain in this one. Starts with Davion Goldman, the three to start things off. He's going to look for the four point play after being knocked down. Pacers offense, Dominic. Garcia dishes it down low to Kayla Maldonado. Great ball movement. Back out to Jacob and Duhart for three. The ball movement gets rewarded. Pacers controlling the game in its opening minutes with another three. This one wide open on the wing. The Bulldogs now turn to Jalen Lovejoy. Steps behind the arc, has the screen, hand down, man down. Gets the tray ball. Bulldogs running the break. London Denson can't get that Euro lay in to go. Lovejoy's on the boards, bucket and one. Pacers in the half court. Check out this sequence. Three Pacers get a touch on some ball movement. Pump fake. Dribble. Set. Fire. Kaboom. Bulldogs beat the Pacers in a tight one. Final score in that one. SIC 62. Chicopee 60. The Nantucket Whalers making their way to South Hadley to face the 6-4 Tigers. First quarter. Tigers up 12-6. Whalers with the ball. Jaywan Francis cuts into South Hadley's lead with the bucket. Tigers' next possession, South Hadley's Tim Logri with the board and the touch. Bucket down low, South Hadley's up 12-8. to It's Reagan Logri's cousin, by the way. Later in the first, Tigers' Noah Hambly passes it to Isaiah James. James nails the three-pointer, puts South Hadley up by 12 now. Still in the first quarter, South Hadley's ball. Owen Dawson finds Matt Gillis near the free throw line. No problem for Gillis. Tigers lead by 15. Moving on to the second quarter now. Whalers attempting to stop the bleed. Chris Simpson coast to coast, Euro step finish. Tigers lead by 10 now. Nantucket's J. Juan Francis gonna be finding himself on the break, throwing it down. Gets the tech for hanging on the rim though. And they're gonna have a long ferry ride home for Nantucket as South Hadley wins big. Final score now in Tigers 80, the Whalers 63. Bay State Academy girls hosting Pioneer Valley Christian Academy, first quarter now. Bay State Academy's Liz Marie Sanchez scores the first points of the game with this three. Looks at three to nothing, Bulls. PVCA with the ball. Eagles, Quincy Clayton drives the lane and floats in the bucket. Makes it three to two, Bay State Academy. Interesting in the opening minutes. Next Pioneer Valley possession. Ella Knox pushes her way along the baseline and lays it in from underneath, giving the Eagles a four to three lead. Eagles get the ball back. Quincy Clayton passes it to Kylie Schmidt in the paint. Schmidt gets the hoop. Six to three, Eagles now. Bay State Academy with the ball. Serenity Finnerty gets the ball to a wide open. Liz Marie Sanchez. Sanchez hits her second three of the quarter. Pulls down six to seven. PVCA with the ball again. Quincy Clayton pass to Kylie Schmidt in the paint. Same results. Eagles extend their lead nine to six. Later on in that quarter, Bay State Academy down five. Gets it to back to Liz Marie Sanchez for her third three of the quarter. Got under 30 seconds left in that quarter. The Bulls three-point machine. Liz Marie Sanchez, the splash sister, nails it. Sanchez scores all 12 Bay State's first quarter points with threes, and Pioneer Valley wins it big, 57 to 25.